In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to make coins in FIFA 22. So boys, for this video, I'm on a fresh account because obviously I started Spice to Glory the other day, which is basically a series where I go through from scratch and try and trade up. I didn't want to show you how that series was doing until this weekend. So in the meantime, you've got this video. A lot of people recently were asking me to make trading content. I'll be honest, boys, I didn't really think people wanted to see it. So if you want to still see trading tips, please do just drop a like on this video. Again, a thousand likes would be perfect. All of that would be absolutely brilliant. Anyway, quality set it to gold bro. You want to go over to the position and set it to midfielder and you want to go over to the chem style and you want to set it to hunter. And just before we carry on with this video boys, if you do want to go and buy yourself any FIFA 22 coins, make sure to click the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. Use that code LE5G. So this method is very, very simple to use boys and it's a very, very good method at that as well. So what you need to do first and foremost is find the absolute minimum price that you possibly can do where cards pop up. So you can see at the minute gold bro midfielders, these are going for about 2.5k. That's the absolute minimum that they're going for at the minute. So let's just see what else we've got. All right, 2.7K, it's looking the tiniest bit better now. So what we're gonna do is basically have it so that there's one card over the L mark. So you can see here that there's too many cards over the L mark here. We can't really do anything with this. So it needs to be either one or zero cards over the L mark. So let's go and take a look. Right, we've got 2.6K. So at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the compare price refresh method. Now, if you don't know what that is, I'll just show you how to do it. All you need to do is get your controller like this, use compare price back, compare price back. That's the compare price method that's just as easy as it's ever gonna be lovely stuff so what we're doing now is we're just sitting here and waiting for something to pop up now we know that the absolute minimum is 2.6k right so if we see anything it's a 2.3k 2.2k whatever it may be we pick that up obviously there's tax so we need to make as good of a profit as we possibly can do however what we're mainly looking for are players who have been converted down from striker so for example players like Gabby Jesus is a perfect perfect player who pops up on this filter all the time so let's just go and take a look at his price normally so his price normally is going for probably about I reckon about 1.5k is my guess. Yeah, 1.5k on the dot. But what I want to show you is firstly how much he's going for with a hunter on him. So with a hunter, Gabby Jesus is currently selling for, as you can see, a considerable amount more than 1.5k. He's actually going for around 3.1k, which is already beautiful. But if we combine that with him being a midfielder and with the hunter on it as well, take a look at this. Take a look at what his price soars to. His price has gone up to about 9.6k, 6.3k, and you can get him at like 2.7k and flip him on for that using that filter that I've just shown you. There are other players who pop up on this filter like Martial, you've got people like Correa who also pop up on this filter but mainly again you're looking for those central players, people who have sort of started at striker and been converted down. We've just missed out on Bele at 1.3k, that's good isn't it? <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, spice. What's wrong with you? We have just got ourselves a Martial in centre mid with a Hunter. Now, let me show you his price because it is stink. I think the main thing that I like with this method is that you don't really need to know the prices. You don't have to sit and study them or make any spreadsheets or do anything like that. You can just snipe at that minimum price and typically get yourself a good deal. Like this Martial, for example, he's going for 6,000 coins. We've just got him at 2k. That's 4,000 coins profit. It's not even half. It's more than half maths. Like I said before, some players can actually go for a considerable amount more providing that they've got different chem styles on them. So let's just go and take ourselves a random player and you boys need to do the exact same thing. Go and find yourself a forward player. It can be a left wing, right wing, striker, whatever. And all you need to do is this. You need to go and find the minimum price. Now, we're going to be sniping, but we're going to be sniping in a very, very different way to how you're used to. Now, typically this is what you'll do. You'll go and find yourself a sniping filters video and they'll go, this player's price is 1.6. Put it down 300 coins and snipe like this. It's the best way to do some sniping. There we go, 900 coins. Oh my God, this, guys, this is so good. You need to do this now. Why are you the way that you are? What you need to do, you need to find the min price. But instead of just going for, say, 1.5K and taking it down a few hundred, what you need to do is find the min price that these are consistently selling for. So you know here, 1.6K is what Jesus is selling for. Now, what you're going to do instead is you're going to use the compare price method again. It is so good. Now, we're using this compare price method. The reason being is because we want to see cards popping up at the 1.6K mark. Now, what we're going to do, anytime that we see a player with any kind of modification, chem style, position change, whatever it may be, we're going to buy them providing that that chem style is actually decent so think like hunter sniper i mean to be fair you probably could get away with this marksman one 
Yeah, sod it. We'll use that one. Why not? So any kind of modification whatsoever, you buy it. It doesn't matter if it's 1.5, 1.6, whatever it is. If it's got a modification, buy it now. The aim with this method is, is to buy as many cards as you possibly can do and basically rinse out your full coin amount. Now, so far, I've managed to pick myself up three cards. One with a cam, one with a hunter, and one with a marksman on it. Let me show you some prices. So first and foremost, we found ourselves a Jesus with a cam. Let's go and take a look to see how much he's going for. As you can see, we've just got him at what? Like 1.5k? He's currently at 5.9 did you <laughs> This method is overpowered. I also got him with a hunter on him as well. Let's go over here and check how much he's going for with a hunter on him. I'm pretty sure it was around 3,000 coins before. Yeah, about 2.5k. Still a thousand coins profit on that one. I think one of the cards from before is already sold on. I mean, we've just had instant sales on two out of those three cards. The good thing is with all the methods that I've shown you as well, you can apply them onto special cards as well. Admittedly, the profit won't be as good, but it's definitely worth trying out. So again, we'll just go over here and we'll just go over and see if we can see anything that we get. <clears throat> that dip. No. You need to set this to around 10,000 coins just to make sure that you filter out all the, the trash. And again, as you can see, we can just sit here on this filter. There's one over the hour mark and we can just sit here, compare price back out, compare price back. You get the point. You get the... I'm going to get a deal with this as well, just to show you how easy trading is in this game at the minute. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. And there we go. That was, that, 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 that was, that was, that was far too easy, I'll be completely honest with you. Just got this guy at 13,000 coins, not bad. Let's go and double check to see how much he's actually selling for at the minute. We need to go over here and type in Graham. Hello, Graham. Graham. What? So go over here and let's go and see how much he's going for with a hunter on him. We got him at 13,000 coins. He's selling at 15,000 coins. Boys, just please, 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 please. Go and try these methods out. If you need FIFA coins, this is the thing to do. But let's hope you boys did enjoy this video. If you want to go and watch more trading videos, make sure to click here or here. I'm clicking the middle to subscribe. This been like six. Lewis is spin. If you need some FIFA coins, go and check this video out. Bloody, bloody, bloody. Uh, 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 uh. Trading videos. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Spice World. Idiot.